This is how this notebook became my best friend. I have been bullet journaling for about two years now and for the last few months I've finally been able to stick to it every single day. Here's the story of how I went from this to this. This is my first bullet journal, which I bought after watching a few videos on my YouTube recommended page. Um, I was really excited because I thought it was a great opportunity to up my productivity. But looking back now with a fresh pair of eyes, 15 year old me got a bit too excited. I'm hoping all of you know what the bullet journal system is. If not, I've linked a really good video down below explaining exactly what it is. Put simply, the bullet journal system consists of a future log, an index, a monthly log and a daily log. So you only need four spreads to set it up. However, because I thought that if I added more spreads I would be more engaged and want to use it more, I added a habit tracker, a mood tracker, a one line a day, a study tracker, a movies watch spread and a brain dump. This was my first real problem. When you first start bullet journaling, stick to the bullet journal system. Picking up my bullet journal started to become a chore because every single day I had to fill out five to six spreads and I wasn't even used to the system yet. What I should have done is ignored all of those additional spreads for the first few months and just stick to a daily log. But because 15 year old me was quite lazy and didn't want to make it work, I stopped using it and I thought I would never use it again. So let's fast forward to the end of 2019 and I was feeling a bit overwhelmed with all my schoolwork and I decided to keep a daily log in my puka pad. Now I know this is technically not a bullet journal but I still learned something from this and that is minimalism does not always equal productivity. I thought my first bullet journal was way too elaborate so I stripped it back and it did work for two weeks but then I stopped using it because when I was motivated yeah it was great to track all my work but when I was not I didn't want to pick it up it looked boring. Minimalism might be perfect for you but for me it was not and that's okay you can be productive with all of those creative doodles and artwork and that's completely fine. So I stopped using this journal and started something completely different. After ditching my puka pad, I decided to start bullet journaling again in my old notebook. And I wanted to see if I could combine the bullet journal system with my own doodles and if I would stick to it. And I'm glad to say I did. I bullet journaled almost every single day and I was enjoying it. So I decided for the new year I would get a new bullet journal. This is my current bullet journal and I love it but I still learned one final lesson. It's okay to not touch your bullet journal for a day or two, as long as you change something about your system. Bullet journaling is all about adaptability, and once you've got used to the system, you can play around as much as you like to suit your needs. And I've learned that. As you can see here, I've missed out quite a few days, but I've also added stuff in so I would want to use it more. For example, I'm a very sentimental person, so I've decided to put more pictures in my bullet journal. I've also kept stuff in that I know works. For example, my one line a day spread. I always use it and I have done ever since my first bullet journal. So why should I change it? This is all about trial and error. And before you know it, you'll find the perfect system for you. I've been using this bullet journal now for six months and I pretty much use it every day and it's really kept me motivated during lockdown and quarantine. I guess it is kind of my best friend.